Best air quality in eight years. That's what the Spokane Regional Clean Air Agency is saying about this past summer. Somehow, Spokane managed to avoid the worst of an active fire season around the Pacific Northwest. Meteorologist Matt Gray is here to break down why and explain our odds of doing it again next year. And Derek, the bottom line here is that Spokane got pretty darn lucky. Where and when the big fires in our area happened this year, when those fires were happening in other places, timely rain in August and early September, boy, that all helped us out a lot. Air quality will fail national standards if the air quality index averages 100 or higher for a full 24 hours. Now, back on August 3rd, we got close. We had an average AQI of 82, according to Spokane Clean Air. But take a look at the last eight years of data here, and you can see why we are making such a big deal out of this. Even in 2022 and 2019, which by modern standards, we consider quieter wildfire seasons around here, there were still days, multiple days, with failed air quality of that standard that I just mentioned. Wildfires, they just happened to be at the wrong place and at the wrong time, and that smoke ended up blowing into town and stuck around the city for a while. Weather conditions that ex promote extreme wildfire behavior, well, they're still increasing in the inland northwest, despite what's happened this year. While average rainfall during our smokiest months of August and September, you're about to see that on your screen, they're continuing to go down year over year, decade over decade. In the end, it all comes down to random chance. But the underlying factors like these, they're all pointing towards us probably not avoiding the smoke again next year.